Wednesday, exporters reported sales of 4.4 million bushels of soybeans for delivery to unknown destinations for the 2024-25 marketing year. Now, trade continues to be a focus for the industry. USDA saying total agricultural exports were roughly $175 billion in 2023, adding that the agency is working to ensure that U.S. producers get full and fair access to markets and opportunities across the globe. Now, that includes new grapefruit markets in Vietnam, increased ethanol exports to Japan, and the removal of retaliatory tariffs on a number of goods sold to India. USDA says those access points, well, they're worth nearly $6.5 billion. I applaud this administration for doing what they've done as far as going out and working on sanitary, phytosanitary barriers because they can be just as much of an issue as tariffs. But I also look at the fact we really haven't done a free trade agreement in this country for 11 years. That's atrocious. Other countries around the world are continuing with their free trade agreements. And so if they go somewhere and cut a tariff reduction deal, uh, and it's going to be cheaper for them to sell the product than it is for us, well, we're going to lose that market. Now, you got to remember that not just President Biden, but President Trump's administration didn't do free trade agreements either. So if you assume that Mr. Biden and Mr. Trump are going to be our next president, one of them, um, we have a real uphill battle. Neither one of them is going to jump on the free trade bandwagon. USDA's Foreign Ag Services says it did host five trade missions in 2023, including in Central and South America, Europe, and East and Southeast Asia.